when you assume that all people are motivated by the same things, you're going to be wrong. Because some people are motivated by money, some people are motivated by recognition, some people are motivated by status, some people are motivated by titles. It varies by person. And the best way to align with that and figure out what motivates someone is just to ask them, right? Now, there's, of course, assessments that we got to go a little bit deeper on that, like the print assessment is really good in terms of intrinsic drivers and intrinsic motivators. But that being said, I remember years ago with our sales team, this was right when like AirPods came out. And I got myself a pair of AirPods. I thought these were the coolest things ever. I still think it's one of the coolest things ever, but they were relatively new. And I met with the sales team and I said, look, when we hit our targets this week, everybody gets a pair of AirPods, right? We, we set a stretch goal, everyone would get a pair of AirPods. And I thought they would be ecstatic, right? Because AirPods were extremely popular at the time. They did not care. They did not respond. At first I said, look, do you guys not know what AirPods are? They're like, no, we know what AirPods are. And I'm like, oh, you don't want AirPods? They're like, yeah, it's okay, it'd be kind of nice. And I'm like, why aren't you excited? Right. And I'm like, what are these entitled people? Like they don't want you know, a, a, a pair of AirPods. Well, as it turned out, they wanted different things. So for example, one of our sales team members, I asked her, what do you want? She's like, uh, I want a pair of Lululemon leggings. And I'm like, would that get you excited? She'd be like, absolutely. The leggings were cheaper than the AirPods. So I'm like, okay, done. We can make that happen. Somebody else, they wanted like a camping trip. And then somebody else wanted to get their car washed. It's completely different things to people. And then you know, another person didn't want any of those things. They just wanted recognition. That's all. They're not even motivated by money. Can you imagine someone on a sales team not motivated by money? So I think it was me realizing that I have no idea any, like what motivates somebody. And you can't assume that you know what's going to motivate somebody because it's different things to different people. And the best way to know is to ask. So we do these things. We call them celebration surveys. On these different celebration surveys, we kind of have every team member outline like what is a gift that you would love at different price points. So I forget the exact price points, but it's like $50, $100, $500, like $1,000. And now we know those things and they're different for each person because they, they can choose what is exciting to them. It's different things to different people. But then when they do something exceptional, we can pull up their celebration survey and then we know exactly what it is that they want. Maybe they want two mean luggage. Maybe they want a day of PTO. Maybe they want something else, right? It just, so we don't have to assume anymore. We can really look at and say, here's what this person wants. And as a result, we can, uh, we can meet them where they are.